Hi, my name is Karina and welcome back to Girls with Wisdom. Today we will be going over how to program the velocity or speed or calculate with this formula in Java. So the first thing to start off is you're going to need to know what velocity is and the formula to compute it with coding. So velocity is usually referred to as speed or in the formula where it's v equals distance over time can be replaced as speed equals distance over time and you can just change it to uh, d equals v times t and t equals v times d. So this is the uh, way of the formula can be used for velocity, which means to calculate speed. So the next thing you're going to need to do is have a Java compiler. You can either download Eclipse, which is what I have here, and you could just make a class in a new program and code it that way, or you can use a free online compiler. Both are free, both work. For me, I think it's more practical to have it downloaded onto your computer because it's easier and faster, and you won't have any issues with, with importing it. So the first thing we're going to be doing is importing java.util.scanner. So when you're typically importing java.util.scanner, you're either doing statistics or any calculations. So I'm just gonna write import java.util dot scanner with a capital S, okay, it's capital S, <laughs> and then with a semicolon, and we're going to be moving down, uh, with public velocity, blah, blah, we have our colon, and we have public static void main, and then we're going to go right here, and we're going to make a new line, and write scanner in equals new with a capital S, we have to be very careful in Java, scanner, parentheses, capital S, system, dot, in, and then end it with a colon. The next thing you're going to need to do is write, so we're going to, uh, what we're going to do is actually, before this line right here, we're going to make a comment. So comments um, are very important and it's very good to start off with commenting so you get used to the habit and uh, build up this habit. So you can use comments in code when you want to um, just make your code cleaner so when you look back at it from after a few months or even years or just looking back and making it cleaner for other people to even read your code. So it's a part of your code that you write just anywhere is known. Nothing syntactical won't be added to your program when you're when you're running it, but it's there just so you can actually read it. So it's different for every language. For Java, it's two forward slashes. For Python, it is a pound sign or a uh, pound sign or a hashtag or number sign, whatever you call it. And in HTML, it is. I'll show it to you. It's an angle bracket exclamation with dash dash, and you just close it this way. Um, and then in uh, uh, CSS, it is forward slash asterisk and closing it vice versa. So I'm just going to write how to calculate speed or velocity. So we have scanner in equals new scanner system dot in and write system dot out dot print and then in parentheses write with the quote and whatever you're in the quote is exactly what it's going to say and write um, uh, what do you want want your speed to be or we'll say what is your speed what is your calc what is what is the speed you're calculating what is the speed you are calculating colon so I'm just going to just make this capital just so when we put it in it's nicer so to speed you're calculating and then just write int speed equals in dot next int colon so now the next thing we're going to be writing is another comment and write how to calculate distance and then we're going to, you don't even need to close comments in Java, but in other languages you do need to. Python you don't need to, but HTML you do. Same thing with uh, CSS. So the next thing I'm going to write is 
int, uh, actually, no, I'm sorry. I'm going to write system, like what I did above, system.out.print, and then in parentheses, with quotes, write, please, uh, actually, no, write, what is the distance you are calculating and then colon space close it and then we're going to write int distance equals int in dot next capital I for int and then close it and then we're going to do another colon and then now we're going to make one last comment and write formula formula for velocity overall is d equals d divided by t so velocity equals distance divided by time um, so now we're going to be writing float so we're writing float time equals parentheses float float and then write distance divided by time, uh, speed speed because time equals distance divided by speed um, and then we're going to write colon and then write system system dot out dot print and now we're writing ln it's very crucial that when you write the ln it's going to make a new line at the end so your code knows your given time, given calculated time is colon and then just capitalize C and capitalize the G. Um, and then now we have to write here plus the actual time it's coding and then colon. What is the issue? Oh, plus sign. Where'd it go? Okay, there you go. And there and there. So there we go. And now let me run. It should ask us. So then what we're going to be doing is one second. The compiler should come up. Proceed. Huh. Where is my compiler? I'm sorry. Mm, so we go, there we go. We should have a compiler somewhere. <sighs> Let's just add a new compiler, I guess. Okay. Where is it? Sorry. File. There we go. What is the speed you are calculating? I'm just going to write 25. What is the distance you are calculating? 45. So now it calculated and divided. So you're given calculated time is 1.8. There you have it. That is how you calculate velocity and applying physics into STEM. I hope that you have uh, understood and learned this. And if you have any questions, please feel free to contact uh, girlswithwisdom at gmail.com if you have any questions, Instagram messages at girlswithwisdom, or if any questions at all syntactical understanding and mentoring, please feel free to reach out. Thank you and have a great day.